handed it over. I got a hot date. Don't do late. <laughs> Monkey's got a date. Mwah. What? 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 That's Swiss fucking chocolate, Pete. Bon appetito. Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at what happened to a potential sequel in development for a fantastic original game, Beyond Good and Evil. With a new generation of systems coming out in the year of 2000, when the demise of the Sega Dreamcast just occurred, Sony's PlayStation 2 took position in staying number one in the console wars with the Xbox and GameCube following, respectively. This led to new developers coming up and the makers of Rayman, Ubisoft, took no backseat as they forged forward with incredible original single player games like Beyond Good and Evil. Developed and released by Ubisoft in 2003 for the PlayStation 2, Xbox, GameCube, and PC, this action adventure became one where the player takes the main control of the protagonist, Jade, to uncover a major conspiracy about their government and strives to fight back. Michael Ansel, also the maker of Rayman, brought this gem and hoped it would be a trilogy, but due to bad sales, the game faded away into the bargain bins quickly for $9.99, where I bought mine for the Xbox. Soon, the game made its way to the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 for an HD upgrade in visual fidelity and it looked great, garnering more and more fame and accolades of the re-release, the cult following and myself dreamed of a sequel that seems dormant for some time. Then the impossible happened in 2017 at E3, where the sequel was officially announced. Even though the trailer was much more mature in looks and language, I couldn't care less as the sequel was all I ever wanted with Michael Ansel at the helm once again. The game is an action adventure set in an open world environment played in third person and is supposed to be one generation before the events of the first game. Looking to be a single or co-op support, the game will require internet connection at all times. Known to be in development hell, Anso noted that the sequel was in pre-production since 2008 and awaiting final details to move ahead. The following year, Ubisoft released a trailer with Jade and PJ on a side of the road, again forecasting a future release with no information. Project after project from the likes of Rayman Legends, the game was on back burner until the official trailer in 2017. Soon, more information and more trailers with actual gameplay came out with the rumors of a Nintendo Switch exclusive. The game would run on a new engine called Voyager and to be developed by Ubisoft Montpellier with composer Christophe Perel to return from the original in producing the soundtrack. Even Netflix joined the optimism of the brand with a feature film of the game that was revealed in August of 2020. The film will blend live action and CG with the likes of Detective Pikachu. This film adaptation may be the first we see of anything beyond good and evil to come since 2003 and its HD remaster. As time proceeded, silence with no new information until 2020 where Michael Ansel steps down with a series of sexual misconduct allegations from the French newspaper Liberation. Before leaving, Ansel noted he was happy to leave and proud of the team's effort. Since then, it seemed that the project was never to be released, and with E3 2021 and no information in sight, the project may be a blight Ubisoft wants to forget for the immense allegations. Unsure of what is to come, the gameplay I saw did not impress too much where I wanted a lot more than another internet game without a single player campaign. Unfortunately, it feels like the project will be unfinished and if released in this new era of the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5, we can only hope it isn't a disaster like Anthem or even worse, Cyberpunk 2077. But hey, the website is still up with Ubisoft still advertising the upcoming game sometime in the future. 
at least that means more than just giving up and if nothing at all at least the trailers look really really nice that's it for this look at beyond good and evil 2 please like and subscribe if you like my videos Beho out and Greg take us out of here and I will see you all next upload